Now that we've transferred our image to the block, we're ready to carve. Uh, you'll notice that the gouge is round, the veiner is shaped like a V, and then you also have uh, usually knives that you're going to use to just straight cut things out. Basically your goal is to have the grooves be cut in a V or U shape. You don't want to carve things straight up and down. That reduces the strength and it's unnecessary. For instance, I'm going to carve around the periphery of this. Uh, I want this to be a black line and I want it to be kind of a thick black line. So I'm actually going to carve at an angle away from the line that I want to carve. So when using the, the knife, whether it's an X-Acto knife or anything, you want to carve at an angle and then you want to move away from that and carve at an angle again to kind of try to meet up with the line that you had carved originally. I'm trying to be really careful not to go too deep or too much of an angle, otherwise I'll do what's called undercutting, and I'll cut under the, the image, the line that I want to keep, and I don't want to do that. Now that I've cut this deep enough, I'm going to go back with my original line cutting away from my black line to carve it back. See how it just peels right up. You also notice how the groove is an angle. It's not straight up and down. It's going away from the line you have made. So in order to make this an actual black line, I would have to clear out the rest of this image and I actually have to carve on the other side doing the same thing. This time I'm going to show you a different tool. I'm going to use the veiner. If you're going to use a veiner or a gouge, this is where the bench hook comes in handy. This way I can push at all times away from my hands. I never want to keep my hands up here. That is how you end up severing nerves and tendons. So I can keep my hand behind my tool and push the block into my bench hook. And I'm maintaining enough distance. That's going to give me the width of my black line. As I turn, I'm going to have to rotate my block. Again, keeping my hand safely behind my tool where I will not stab myself with my veiner. Boom. So essentially we've accomplished the same thing. You can see that we also have a V-shaped groove. So this is our thick black line. This is the area that we've cut away on either side of that line. So now the inside of this can be cleared away, except for anything that we want to be black lines. And the outside can be cleared away, anything that we want to be just white, or we don't want to be any, any, anything black. So that is how we use the tools for carving.